This is Dr. Sam Benjamin, and um, I don't want you to go away. I want to make this fast. I want to make it so that you're interested. They say that if I talk too long, you're going to go away. But I don't want you to go away because this is so important, and it's about water. Let me just tell you something that no matter what the government says, your water is contaminated. The water that's coming from the city of Phoenix, the water in Scottsdale, Mesa, what is it, 1.2 million inhabitants in, in Phoenix, and uh, in Mesa, 350,000, Scottsdale, 180,000, blah, blah, blah. You're drinking contaminated water. Sometimes you're just drinking water that's above the guidelines that the government sets, guidelines. And sometimes you're drinking stuff that's clearly dangerous. Now, what officials say is very simple. They say, well, don't worry about it. They're tiny amounts. It can't make any difference. And indeed, it won't make any difference, except that you're drinking it every day. It accumulates in your body fat. It accumulates in your cells. And that's where your body burden breaks down and you get into trouble, real trouble. I'm really worried about the water you drink. How does it get there? Well, three ways. One, it's in the groundwater, right? Arsenic is in the groundwater in Scottsdale. They've had plenty of trouble dealing with arsenic over the last decade. That's one way. It comes from the ground in Arizona. Second way, it comes from the byproducts of, of corporations, whether it's agricultural corporations or it's uh, manufacturing. The byproducts seep into the ground no matter how much they try to follow EPA standards. And the third way is in the air. You know, the military jets are dropping rocket fuel all along the Rio Grande, and that water gets into our groundwater. It gets into our lettuce. We're famous for rocket fuel lettuce. All of that stuff, you and your family family are drinking, your kids are drinking it over the years, it accumulates in your body and your body can't handle it. You get cancer, Parkinson's disease, other neurologic problems. It's really horrendous. So what are we going to do about it? Well, there's only two things. Either we're going to have federal regulations that are going to start regulating this more. And in the end, no matter how independent you are, no matter how much of a good conservative Arizonan you are, we're going to need something to protect us because the poison is getting into the body of your children and it's going to kill them. That's one thing. The other way to do it is to filter the water you drink. Bottled water, eh, I'm going to talk about that in our next session. I'm going to do another vlog about this stuff. But bottled water is a way, maybe, because that's got BPA, bisphenol A in it, and that's bad for you. And the other thing is the water that you filter in your house. Maybe the water that you can take with you if you filter it appropriately. Tune in next week. That's what I'm going to talk about. This is Dr. Sam Benjamin with Medical News You Can Use.